Vegetables are one of the most important food groups that we all need to partake in when it comes to a well-balanced and fulfilling diet. They are nature's way of providing us with the most organic vitamins and nutrients you'll ever get your hands on. There are even vegetables that are considered superfoods, like broccoli, potatoes, artichokes, and avocados, because they hold multiple vitamins. But would you believe me if I told you that most people don't get the full nutritional benefits because they are cooking them completely wrong? It's very common. And on today's video, we're gonna go over 11 ways you're cooking your vegetables wrong. And make sure you stay here to hear the last one because it's just as important as the first. So let's dive right in. Number 11, too much oil. Dumping your veggies with oil before cooking them may seem foolproof to avoid sticking to the pan. Unfortunately, adding too much oil can burn veggies when it gets scalding. While adding oil is a flavorful idea, the best option would be to add avocado oil to the pan in layers and stir. Nothing will stick to the pan and definitely not burn vegetables. Also remember that oil is fat and depending on the type of oil you use will determine the taste and healthiness of your dish. So use it sparingly and wisely. Number 10, not cooking them at all. Many vegetables are healthy enough to eat raw. Beets, broccoli, onions, and bell peppers have natural nutrients when plain. And asparagus has cancer-fighting properties when steamed. Mushrooms, for example, give you more potassium when sauteed, grilled, or roasted. While spinach tastes excellent in a salad, eating it cooked will let you absorb more calcium, iron, and magnesium. Likewise, tomatoes absorb more cancer-fighting lycopene when you cook them. Let's also include microwaving in this. Although it's a fast way to get a meal hot, zapping vegetables with microwaves only depletes them of their nutrients. Besides, when you microwave, it only heats from the outside in, which also predisposes the vegetables to being undercooked. Number nine, prepping too early. Washing doesn't always work with vegetables. Oxidation and nutrient loss begin as does wilting and spoilage. Pre-cut vegetables are popular. You see them in the market and trays all the time because they are time-saving and easy, but cutting them too soon results in nutrients and moisture loss. Oxygen, light, and heat can cause vegetables to lose nutrients, and cutting them too soon exposes them to the first two. Be mindful of timing when prepping. Cut right before using them. If you need to cut in advance, try doing so early in the morning or the night before. Greens, for example, begin to wilt. If you need to wash them in advance, put them in a bag with a paper towel around them to absorb moisture. Number eight, too much boiling. The best way to deplete nutrients and flavor in vegetables is by boiling them. Water soluble nutrients seep into the cooking water. Boiling can lead to overcooking, which makes them soft, gray, and mushy. The only benefit to boiling them is making soup or vegetable broth. On the other hand, if you do boil, do it for a few minutes and transfer it to the ice to keep its bright color and avoid overcooking. And speaking of overcooking, always keep an eye on the cooking time of your vegetables because high heat alters their lovely vivid color, crispy texture, and of course, nutritional value. Number seven, overcrowding the pan. Overcrowding your vegetables leads to steaming rather than caramelizing, searing, or getting crisp. The oil temperature drops when you add food to an already crowded pan and only put a single layer with little wiggle room. If you have more veggies than you can fit into a pan, cook in batches or use a larger pan. Number six, smoking out. Grilling veggie kebabs are great, but be aware that smoking them out can lead to depleted nutrients. What's worse is that the charted black appearance is a good indication that the veggies develop benzoaprein, a carnogenic chemical, which is also found in cigarettes. Try grilling vegetables in a basket instead. It eliminates the risk of char and retains moisture, vitamins, and minerals. Use high medium heat and disregard the oil drizzle previously before cooking. Cook them dry and then add your choice of oil to help reduce the antioxidant depleting smoke. Number five, discarding the good parts. This is not the same thing as eating the rind of certain fruits like watermelon, which does have its benefits. But when it comes to the skin, leaves, and stalks of our favorite vegetables, they are the healthiest part with the highest concentration of vitamins. Potatoes have more vitamin D with the skin intact than without. Bake potatoes at least a day ahead of time, letting them sit for about 24 hours. 
This will lower their glycemic index. Most people discard the broccoli stalks because it makes the dish look less flattering. But the stalk has the most nutrients. Cutting the broccoli into florets increases the chance of antioxidant loss. You should also choose whole heads rather than bags of pre-cut florets. Don't discard the cooking water, which is needed to produce boiled or steamed vegetables. You can use the water from boiled veggies to make creams, soups, risottos, and minestrone soups such as broths. Steamed vegetable cooking water can also be used to prepare other dishes. Even when washing veggies, never waste water. Collect the water in a bowl and reuse it for things like dishwashing. Number four, roasting at a low temperature. 400 to 450 degrees is the best temperature when roasting vegetables to maintain a caramelized exterior. In some cases, there is a danger to roasting them at low temperatures because you run the risk of it not only tasting terrible, but also running the risk of the vegetables undercooking. As mentioned before, most vegetables can be eaten raw. However, you may fall ill if they are undercooked, like certain mushrooms, such as the chicken of the woods mushroom. Number three, cooking when wet. Washing them isn't always bad, but not patting them dry before cooking can ruin a dish. Potatoes begin to oxidize immediately when they get wet and start to brown. If you leave mushrooms wet for too long, they begin to mold and get slimy. Also, when it comes to cooking vegetables too wet, the water creates steam and makes them mushy. Wet food can also be dangerous when placed in a hot oil pan. Of course, when you mix hot oil with any denser liquid, especially water, it will pop and potentially cause a grease fire. Number two, cooking vegetables the same way. It's boring, find other ways to cook them. It will also help kids explore ways to enjoy vegetables they don't like and make your menu more diverse. Of course, all vegetables have their natural flavor, but you can always add other things besides the usual salt and pepper. They could be marinated in tamari, look at aminos, broth, vinegar, herbs, and other spices. Garlic, thyme, turmeric, vinegar, and broth are all good options for marinating vegetables. Marinate before grilling and then use it as a protective layer to the food and keep the veggies from blackening too much and creating carcinogenic compounds. Soak them in your favorite flavors for a few hours before grilling. It will not only offer your meal a distinct flavor, but it will also fill your kitchen with a lovely aroma, making vegetable time more enjoyable and exciting. You can also try looking up new recipes by including a completely foreign vegetable to your table, something you never heard of before, and try to prep and cook it for an exciting new dish. Number one, not washing before cooking. We've already covered what could happen if you cook vegetables too wet. Now we're telling you to wash thoroughly. Conventionally grown pesticide-laden vegetables like celery, spinach, bell peppers, and tomatoes are often washed too quickly, and you risk ingesting chemical residue that can cause stomach pains and nausea, and even worse, become absorbed in your fat cells. And you want to know what's the worst? When you drop pounds and burn fat, those same chemicals become active and seep into the bloodstream. Even organic veggies should be washed thoroughly. So soak them for about 10 to 15 minutes before eating them. Think of it as an indirect cross-contamination. So be mindful of washing them before you eat them. So there you have it. The next time you decide to spark up that grill to barbecue a veggie kebab, make a broth, prepare a salad, or simply want to enjoy a fresh snack, just keep in mind the way you prep, cut, wash, and cook your food. You may rob your body and your taste buds of all the nutritional benefits in a tasty dish. Can you think of any other ways people are cooking vegetables wrong? Or did you make some of these mistakes yourself? If so, tell us how it tasted in the comments below. And remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.